this video for exponents grade 8, we're going to have a look at what an exponent of 0 really means. When you divide a value by itself, it can be simplified to 1. Similarly, 440 divided by 440 will also be 1, and even minus 7530 divided by minus 7530 will give me a value of 1. Because anything divided by itself is 1. So even when it comes to exponents and we have 2 to the power of 7 divided by 2 to the power of 7, we can apply this rule and say anything divided by itself is 1. But we can also choose to use exponential laws here. Here we are dividing, so we'll use the second law, which states that the base will stay the same, and when dividing, we subtract the exponents. So 7 minus 7 will give us an exponent of 0. From this, we can make the conclusion that anything to the power of 0 will always be equal to 1. This means that any base to the power of 0 represents the value 1. Let's have a look at how this will form part of calculations. In the first example, we have two different bases. We can use our first exponential law to simplify the bases that are the same. So we will keep the first base at 2 and add the exponents to get an exponent of 7. This should now be multiplied by 3 to the power of 0, but as we've just seen, anything to the power of 0 is 1. So the final answer is 2 to the power of 7. In example 2, we now multiply and divide. I'm going to start off by simplifying the numerator, and for that I'm going to start off by multiplying the 4 and the 8 as normal because they do not have exponents. For the variable of x, I'm going to apply the multiplication law and add the exponents. In the denominator, we have 2 times x to the power of 0, and again, anything to the power of 0 is a value of 1. Note that it is not the whole 2x to the power of 0 that becomes 1. Only the base that has the exponent of 0 becomes 1. So here we have 2 times 1, which is simply 2. Next, I can divide, and 32 divided by 2 is 16, and that is still multiplied by x to the power of 8. In the last few videos, we had a look at four laws of exponents, and today we also added the definition of any value to the power of 0. You need to ensure that you know exactly which law to use when, and then also how to apply that law.